name is K. Felix, and I will come you to K. Felix Inspire. Always remember, if you're coming here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Please do stay tuned for more details in this video. And by the way, I found it very strange for the president to go to White House and say, thank you for inviting us because many presidents before us were not invited to White House. My foot, doesn't he realize that each of the presidents that we've had has visited the White House? And President Edgar Chagwalungu did not meet Biden when he was vice president. President Edgar Chagwalungu and First Lady Mrs. Esther Lungu went and met Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, not vice president. Now for him, he's very happy he went to meet vice president and he's saying, I'm the first president to have been invited from Zambia. No, President Bali. Your predecessor met the president, not vice president. He met the president. And then he goes there and he says, we're going to align our values. <laughs> I'm getting jittery. You go to another country and tell the other country that me as president of Zambia, I'm going to make sure that we align our values, our cultural values. Which values do you want to align? Values are not imposed on people. People develop their own values. And what values do you want to align? If I suggest that you want to align gay marriages, is that what you want to bring to Zambia? No. The Zambians won't allow that. Do you want to do away with the Christian values to replace them, to realign them? To what? No. You can see that the church, those who are genuine, are crying. But of course, there are some leaders of churches who are very happy with this and they will not see beyond uh, the smoke screen and they will pretend that they're not seeing the dangers that are to before the country and they will sing praises and so on when deep down their hearts they know that Zambia is going on a wrong trajectory. The traditional leaders, are they not crying? President Edgar Chagwalungu set up the ministry of uh, responsible for traditional affairs and through that ministry government was delivering to the chiefdoms to traditional leaders who were building palaces for them through that ministry and now you have made it a department are you sure that a department will give the chiefs as much attention as the whole ministry was giving so those who respect traditional authority in zambia are also crying we politicians are crying our people are being beaten back to what my friend the simple kenne was saying he's even encouraging us to be beaten more Huh? Simple Kenya, a member of the UPND Alliance, is saying yes, because what kind of living is that? No. So every Zambian is crying. Elvis, all of us are crying. Um, this is from somebody. It's, um, it's insulting the arrogance. That's how he begins the text message. It's insulting the arrogance. Uh, as Zambians, that's stupid according to Pierre, but they can't tell fact from fiction. They believe manifestos more than what they <coughs> see and live. They promised more money in your pockets in 90 days, but very few are millionaires. <laughs> we, do you want to respond? Yes. Yeah, uh, Peter, we did not say that we're going to make millionaires in 90 days. We said that we're going to increase people's access to money, and we did that. We increased salaries of civil servants. Uh, we doubled them. All right. What did, what did that mean? More money in the pockets of people. We reduced taxes. Uh, we didn't say that everybody is going to be a millionaire. No, Peter. I did not insult when I said uh, you followed manifestos. What I said was that we in the patriotic front did not manage to show you that the promises they were making were flimsy promises. It is our fault. It's too early though, isn't it? You don't think it's too early? It's not too early when we were already told. Yeah. Just like it, you, you, and I, you and I come from a school where we believe 90 days seems to be a, the correct frame of time to give people. You know, had we been told in the president's address to parliament that come my budget, I shall enhance free education to all children, then I'd have said, yes, let's wait. Okay. But we were told, no. It is not free education for all children. It is bursaries for vulnerable children. What should I expect in the budget? Anything different? No.